couple of years running Amebon, I mean, I realized that I spent a lot of time, you know, consuming sports content from multiple different websites. Um, and I thought, um, I mean, aside from Yahoo Sports, um, not too many sports sites actually aggregate sports content really well. Aside from that, how do you interact with fans, with sports fans? I mean, it, it, uh, you know, the, it's aside from physical interaction online and on Twitter, and at times Twitter is also not always the best medium for you to interact with uh, other sports fans. So we decided to create a sports content aggregation app that also has a place for you to link up with other sports fans. So you could link up with fans around sports that you guys like, or even maybe around your league, or maybe a game that's currently happening. Um, and that's what we do with Amibor Sports. So, so this is the home screen. Um, we have all, already uh, signed up on this and also selected um, the sports that this person likes to read. So you can see that this person is a basketball fan. Um, um, here is our sports selection uh, place. So here you could select if I wanted just NBA news or if I wanted or uh, maybe like uh, La Liga news, I will just tap on that and then it would load um, like the latest La Liga news um, here. Um, also, we have a general chat, chat um, screen where um, chat room where you can just chat anything generally. So here, you know, it's just like kind of like a welcome or introduction um, chat room and if you wanted to see anything that didn't really fit in any other place, you would just come here and, and, and say that. Okay, can you go? Um, also, you could open up the chat rooms. So here we have all our chat rooms for different sports. So we're launching with just five sports. Um, and can you open up the football? So in this chat room, you can you know record your voice. You can type up a message. You can you know play play um, audio voices that people have already uh, recorded earlier and it's really light on data. I mean, each recording is at a maximum of 72 kilobytes. Um, and of course, you know, if it's less than 30 seconds, it will be much shorter than that. So, you know, it's not so, it's very high on your data usage. So, okay, you just added a message. Can you go out? And go to the profile page. So this is, you know, Muhammad Ali's profile on our, on our rest, rest um, So this is um, you know Tomlin's profile, and you know you can see that we have like a coin um, system whereby the more you use the app, the more um, coins or credits that you get, and eventually you'll be able to redeem those credits for things, maybe you know a gift card or you know even if it's like a soccer boot or something, you know. So the more you use use it. You know, it can actually be rewarding to you as a sports fan. Um, and also, you, there is a badge by by that profile, and it shows the more you chat on the app, your your badge actually increases. So we have like amateur, professional, um, you know, champion, legendary badge, um, and you know, it's just, these are just community features that will help make the engagement you know much better. Um, so the revenue model is ad based. Um, so this. App just launched and the ads aren't yet up, but we have native ads in the in the app that you know once you tap on it, you know make some revenue. And from our test, that has been okay so far, and we're you know going to ramp that up. All right, thank you.